Hey, Crusher crew, welcome back. I have some exciting news this morning, so I wanted to hop on and just update everybody that if you are a member of the Patreon Mufas Alert team, let me here show this right here and share it on the screen. There we go. If you are a member of this Mufas Alert team, it looks like there's nine of you. Today, you're going to get login access to the live feed. This is going to be the live feed for my Mupas alert system that I have on the shelf behind me and to the Mupas portal. So this is what it looks like. So this is the actual static feed in my house. You can go over here to this tab and let's say I could change the top one to the uh, GPS and it will switch over to that. And then the middle one I can do microwave I think it, that's what it already is set to. And let's say I switch this one to environment. <clears throat> this should all update here. There we go. Back to gamma rays. And let's switch it back to just the last hour. There we go. So you can cross compare the different categories, three bars across at a time. This is also a real time feed. Now I'm not sure yet if this has been updated to my device as a live feed into my house and the experiences that are going on here. Um, but it looks like this is still feeding from the Hestelin Valley in Norway, which is really cool. Uh, even though this says Carl real time at the top, I'm gonna check with Jim on this but it might mean that we all have, see this is camera access, which I don't have a camera on my system yet. And so I kind of think this is the Hestelin Valley. And these are observations that says, uh, I think I saw a strange object, why is the signals? And I didn't put these ones in, these look like someone else typed them in or they're just the uh, placeholder comments and observations that Jim put there when he was building the website. But this is really, really cool. I'm not, so yeah, I'm not sure if this is live feeding from my house and the camera is from Norway or if this whole feed right here is from the Hestelin Valley in Norway, but very cool. You should be able to go and change the uh, live feed here as well. Let's check the GPS. Yeah, so you can go through and switch the settings, look at the environment. Kind of feels like this is in my house and the camera here is in Norway or just like a video that's on a loop, like a fake one. I'm not sure. I will check with Jim on that. But the good news is all of you that are members of the Mupas alert team here, uh, the nine of you, you're going to get a message today with a login, a username and a password to log into the Mupas portal. So if you don't get a message and I somehow missed your uh, profile, your, your membership, please make sure and message me and double check and I'll uh, look in there and get you your username and your password so that you can log in. And then you should be able to update and change your password to your own. So that's really exciting. And this is how the live feed system is also going to work. And you're gonna be able to put in, um, I think journal entries, I'm going to have to figure out how to do all of that. So this is the live feed access portal. I wonder if to type in my entries, if I go to the other, still go to the other Mupas portal link and uh, put in my entry there. Add an incident report. Here we go, right here. Yeah, there we go. I can even add pictures, the incident description, the location and the types. Very cool. So you just go up there to the profile. So I'm going to have to go in and change my profile and all of that and get more familiar with this. But very cool. I'm excited about the real time live feed. And we're also going to be improving and updating a lot of these uh, sensors into more portable systems, even a watch that you can wear that has different features as well and a lot of other cool stuff so i just wanted to share that with you all as an exciting update i know that a lot of you have waited a long time and been really patient for this i appreciate you so much but yeah check your 
direct messages and your private message here on Patreon. And you should have your membership login and password to access the Mupas portal live feed. And if you have any questions, make sure and go to um, contact Jim at the info at experiencer-studies.com. You can email him there with your personal experiences. Also know that Jim is going to have access to see the live feed data. If you get a device in your own home, um, he's going to be able to access and see that. So if you put in journal entries, he can use that as part of the study and you can opt out of that if you want and, and let him know or just have his help as well and feedback to give you input on what's going on. If you need adjustments on the device or help with your experiences and all of that. And that's the whole point of the project. So I'm really excited about this. Look in your direct messages. You all should have your username and login and we'll see you soon.